I'm Margaret McKnight, and I'm a partner at Stepstone Real Estate. Last year, we partnered with our clients, both discretionary and advisory, to deploy $17 billion of primary capital commitments to new funds. We also partnered with leading GPs to commit $2 billion to co-investments and secondary recaps. This involved about 700 manager meetings. And our work ranged from global allocation planning to detailed asset level underwriting. So we're privileged to have a broad and a deep perspective on the market. This is an unusual time to be talking about what we're doing with portfolios, which is my assignment for today. The Russian invasion of the Ukraine on February 24th has, of course, created a humanitarian and refugee crisis. It's also led to a spike in oil prices to about two times their 20 year average. Plus, it's added a second source of supply chain problems. This is on top of existing inflation. U.S. inflation came in at nearly 8% for February, which is the highest levels since those following the OPEC oil price hikes in the late 70s. Um, and this is February data, so it doesn't fully reflect the Ukraine. Now, while actively working to unwind the shutdown era stimulus, the uh, central banks are walking a fine line between managing inflation and not putting the economies into recession. Interest rates are going up, particularly in the U.S., where the two to 10 year um, yield curve is very close to being inverted. All of this means higher risk with downside scenarios <clears throat> having a much higher probability of occurring than we previously thought as we finally emerged from the COVID lockdowns into a revitalizing world. It's too early to tell how political events are going to affect the flow of global capital. Um, we do know that a few major global investors are rethinking real estate out, regional allocations and not just in real estate. A flight to safety could bring more capital to real estate. It could bring more capital to the U.S. Um, and also real estate's historically performed well during periods of high inflation. So that may further attract capital. So what are we doing with portfolios with all this going on? Well, first of all, we think it's a good time to include in your portfolio mix a global manager who can tactically move rapidly across property types and geographies to capture any mispricing opportunities that may occur, perhaps due to overblown fears in Europe or hospitality as travel prices spike. Again, it's really too early to tell where that dislocation may happen. Going forward, we continue to like industrial and residential. The secular changes in industrial have led to record returns and may continue to bolster it in the event of a cyclic slowdown. Incidentally, the roll-ups to the much increased market rates are going to continue to boost um, core portfolios. There's also generally a housing shortage. <laughs> this benefits U.S. multifamily. It's helping to expand traditional multifamily in Europe and Asia, and it's bolstering newer forms of residential as they expand into the institutional spotlight. While interesting, in both industrial and residential, there's been considerable development that bears careful scrutiny as actual asset selections are made. We're cautious on U.S. office, though we know it's seeing a real class differential between the newer class A, and which is meaningfully outleasing the B and C. And this is similar to the dynamic that we see in retail. The rising category of other has many interesting elements, including life sciences office, student and senior housing, data center opportunities, and so on. These generally require skilled, experienced operators, and there are many newer, less proven entrants. Which brings me to my final point. Selecting quality managers with stable teams and proven track records in the strategies they're pursuing is more important than ever, as are ESG considerations, which I've not addressed here. Advice and perspective from a sophisticated, experienced partner will be important in navigating the risks and the opportunities of this rapidly evolving marketplace. And we look forward to continuing to serve in this role for our clients. Thank you for listening, and please reach out to us if you'd like more information.